احنا النهارده متواجدين في مع الفنان الهندي الجميل جون ابراهام ومخرج الفيلم روكي هانسن نيشي كانت Hi guys, we are so happy to have you here in Dubai and especially on Zia Aflam in my program 100% Bollywood. Thank you. And we would like to congratulate you for the great movie Rocky Handsome. Thank you. So we'll start with Mr. Johnny. Before we go through all this kind of little bit boring question that you've been asked the whole day. So how does it feel to be the sexiest man alive? I wish I felt that way and uh, everyone feel that way that's sweet of you that's kind of Thank you, you. Um, I just think it's important to 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 be good as a person and then I'm sure the world will find you beautiful or handsome or sexy and I think it's also a combination of being good and doing good work and going to the gym and just being fit how many hours do you work out this probably an hour maybe 15 minutes lesser than you oh really i only work 45 minutes a day and two days a week that's, that's enough fantastic for me. i think you're genetically very blessed and thank god for that oh thanks god trust me i eat everything i control it okay so we've seen the trailer it's really amazing and it's full of action drama and especially the connection between you and this little beautiful girl so what you can share with us about this work uh, well, in short, it's a story of a man who is uh, living a very isolated life, a very yes. secluded life, living alone. He stays in a small place, uh, somewhere running away from the world, or he's got some past nobody knows about him. And he's living a lonely life, and he's got this uh, beautiful neighbor who's seven, eight years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, she has a special bond with uh, this man yeah. who refuses to talk to her, but she keeps on, you know, like, uh, yeah. she's like the typical eight year old pulling the shirt and saying yeah. things. Small fan. Yeah. And uh, they have a very special bond. She calls him handsome. Uh -huh. she, you know, you know what the world calls you, the world calls you handsome. They're really handsome. That's how she speaks to him. And he's like straight face, just looking and watching at her and not. And something goes wrong, something goes wrong, and the kid disappears. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly, uh, the protagonist, the man, realizes that, oh my god, what a special bond I had with her, and suddenly mm -hmm. she's not there. And so, to what extent he goes to find her back in the big bad world out there is the crux of it. Why did you choose this movie to act? Mm -hmm. Why did you choose this movie, Rocky Hansen, to be the villain and act ah. with uh, John? That was an accident. Actually, I was not supposed to play the villain. Mm -hmm. uh, I am. I act in free time. I do some theatre and everything. But mm -hmm. when I'm directing, I don't act generally. Someone else was supposed to play this character. I had casted him because he had a very interesting face. He was not an actor. He was a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. and I told him that you, you do the part. I'll see how well you can act. I'll manage that. And he said yes, no, yes, no. And two days before of the shooting, he developed cold feet, saying that I cannot do it. Oh. And Suddenly we, didn't, <laughs> suddenly we didn't have an actor, I mean, to play the main villain. Mm -hmm. And uh, I couldn't waste uh, John's dates or other actors' dates because everything is organized according yeah. to everyone's availability. So eventually, and, and during that time, I had torn shirt for some reason. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of my assistants told me, uh, why don't you play the villain? Mm -hmm. And oh, I was being that ugly, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I gave it a thought, uh, I, uh, and I eventually said, okay, somebody has to bite the bullet, so I'll, I'll play it. And yeah, but it was kind of tough to act and direct at the same time. Okay. John, in real life, how far you can go to save a friend? I Do can, you believe that? Can yeah. Nowadays? I, I can put my life on the line, and wow. uh, I probably belong to that generation who believes in relationships more than uh, material things. Yeah. And uh, I, can, I, I think that I can go all the way. But those people are not exist anymore. Yeah, in today's <laughs> world, it's... Nowadays, it's, no. Yeah, it's, it's really difficult. Bad. But, but I think my life has been built on relationships. And when you sit back one day, you'll only think about those friends who stood by your side and who held your hand. And I want to be one of those friends for someone else who sits back and thinks about his life or her life. We've seen you as an actor, producer. Are you planning anytime soon to be a director? I'll have to assist uh, <laughs> Nishikant and, uh, you know, because honestly, he's a master craftsman. And yeah. uh, I'm not saying this just because this is an interview, Julie. I really believe that uh, Nishikant's got the gift 
of creating emotions on screen, which very few directors have. It's very easy to place the camera here or place the camera there and say, okay, this is a shot we want. Yeah. But how do I make you smile? How do I make you cry? Uh, yes, that's the same. You know, how do I hold a shot? How do I brief my actor? I think Nishikant has got that ability. So I'm not joking. I always say that, you know, I may have to assist him if I have to really understand how to get that out. Would I like to direct? Yes, I'd love to direct one day. But am I uh, equipped to direct today? No. I need to find a story, a subject, you know, spend time with him, understand what he thinks and how he gets the story So it's out. not easy to be, to be an, as a director? Uh, no. Let me put it this way. If you want to get into films oh, yeah. and I am the actor and he's the director, you go to him. Oh, because okay. that's the way it works. He's the captain of the ship and uh, a, 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 a hero is as bad or as good as his director makes him or his film makes him. So I believe the director is the captain of the ship. So did you guys face any difficulties doing all these action scenes? I'm sure someone got hurt, someone got uh, tired, ah, someone yeah. died. <laughs> no, 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 touch wood. All good? Uh, okay, I'm touching wood. But uh, yeah, it was, it was a very tough uh, period because uh, it was something which we had not tried. He had not tried, I had not tried. Something really different school of action, really intense. Mm -hmm. So we decided that uh, we have to do something different. We went, like what sort of action we should do to finally boil down to the oriental bed, like something like Japanese, Korean, or Chinese sort of an action, martial art. Yeah. So then came a team from Thailand to understand what sort of action can be done. So you have been trained for all this yes. move right yeah. before the film. And he can tell you about the training better, actually. Oh, yeah. So how was it? Yeah, fantastic. I, uh, we trained for about 14 hours a day for a month. Hours. Yeah. And um, we trained with all the international fighters, Germans, Americans, Russians. I mean, whoever came down from anywhere in the world, because we were all students, we were learning. But I trained in specific sequences that Nishi had designed. Mm -hmm. So I had to train to a brief. And uh, I trained with knives. I trained in Krav Maga, in Silat, in Aikido, wow. in Hafkido, um, uh, learned Tai Chi. So MMA on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so every different martial art uh, I had to incorporate in different action sequences. Yeah. So it is a really special process. And I think when you see the film, you'll understand how we've lent each sequence a different story. Okay. And it's fantastic. I hope. Yeah, a few days really left enjoyed. to watch the movie, I can't wait. Yeah, a few days left to watch the film. So what would you like to share directly with the fans? Why they should come and watch Rocky Handsome? It's a damn good film. Rocky Handsome is a, is a good film and it's not being overconfident. It's just being very confident because the material is so special. The yeah. content is so beautiful. The emotions are so high. The romance is stunning and the action is exceptional and of course I have Nishi here uh, probably one of the most dangerous villains you're going to see on screen at the same time one of the best directors you're going to see off screen okay and a message to all your Arabic fans here in the Middle East a uh, message to all the uh, my Arabic brothers and sisters uh, please go and watch Rocky Handsome and I wish I could come here and watch this film with uh, each one of you because You'll have supported me so strongly. And one of my closest friends, Ahmed, uh, who's... Hi, Ahmed. Uh, hi, Ahmed, who's, <laughs> who's uh, a Dubai local. And... Uh, ah, Ahmed, the guy who was with you in Dishum, no? Ahmed, who's Ahmed. there, yeah. Ah, ah, okay, Ahmed. Ahmed, and uh, he's a fantastic guy, and he's my, he's my brother, and... Uh, yeah, he's a Bollywood uh, addicted. And he loves... Uh, he really loves... Uh, supporting me wherever so this goes out to you and all your friends in dubai lots of love and i hope you go watch this film.